Okay, so this is for the <coughs> technical experts at Renergy. I've got a normal AGM battery, 13.16 volts. Positive, negative to measure the voltage, positive and negative wire using their supplied cable going into the plus and minus of the hub, all right? The BT2 goes into the primary. It's dead. And the only one plugged into the hub is the solar controller. Nothing happens. So Renergy asked me to send a photo of the communications hub plugged into a normal 12 volt battery. So here it is, plugged into a 12 volt battery with everything connected. Nothing lights up, as you can see. And in the next photo, I disconnected everything from the hub except the power. And as you can see, it does still not light up. Okay, so during the testing of the communications hub, you'll see the BT2 is on as it's plugged into the DC to DC converter. Uh, that's fine, it works. So you can see the green power light. But now, if I unplug it from the DC to DC converter, put it into the communications hub, um, it's dead there and the BT2 doesn't boot up, no green light. But now the communications hub has disabled the communications port in my solar controller. Uh, hang on, trouble, there we go, so it's plugged in, solar controller still works, um, as you can see. But now, the solar controller won't turn on the BT2, the communic- So the communications hub has now broken the communications port in my solar controller.